Hi, and welcome to Product Profile. In this mini-series, we'll be showcasing you exactly how to use the SonicU Sound System software by Dynacord. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to add a custom speaker preset into the SonicU software. Now it's over to Arthur, who will be guiding you through the process. Hello, and welcome to this SonicU tutorial on how to create custom speaker presets to use in your SonicU project file. Before we start, we need to make sure that we have two softwares available on our PC and open. These are SonicU, which is what we're looking at right now. And the second piece of software is IrisNet, which is available from the Dynacore website and is a free download. To get started in IrisNet, you'll see a series of object lists down the left hand side. If you select Dynacord amplifiers, and you can use any of the IPX or TGX in this section to create the preset. So select and drag onto the workspace, the amplifier. If you double click on the amplifier, it opens up the device panel. From here, at the bottom, just in from the left, you'll see a play button and it says config set. Click this button once and it will open up the amplifier DSP window and workflow. So here you can see we've got a four channel amplifier. You can create presets in all of these different bays and you can then export them after you have created your desired preset. To adjust any of the items, PQ, crossover or limiter, simply go to the tab, click on it, and then you can adjust whatever you need. At the minute, all the EQs are bypassed. So to activate them, just select the ones that you need. Uh, you can type in then the PQ type, the gain, the, P the frequency and the Q of the, um, of the response that you want. Or you can just simply create the flow as per the manufacturer's settings. From here, you can either click the next section or you can go back to the flow diagram. I'm just going to go straight on to crossover. So here in crossover, there's no crossover active at the minute. Um, I'm just going to simply add a crossover for this purpose. So you can see there we have a 50 hertz crossover, obviously on top of my PQ that I put on the PQ. Then I'm going to go to the limit settings and here you can see the amplifier is straight through at the minute, so no limiter engaged. Um, if you know the voltage peak of the loudspeaker that you're using, then that's very easy. You just type in the voltage peak in this window here and you'll see the change in the amplifier and the limiter. If you don't know the voltage peak, but you know the RMS of the speaker or the uh, speaker limiter setting in, in, in wattage, then there's a very easy tool to use in IrisNet and that's the limiter threshold calculator, which can be found at the top here. To open the calculator, just click on the, the link and then you will see you've got a window for power limit, impedance, Amplifier type is not relevant because they're all the same gain structure from our series of amplifiers. Um, but say, for example, you had a 600 watt speaker. At the minute it says 80 volts, which was the 400 watt one. Hit enter, and then it will tell you that the amp limit output needs to be 97.98. So if you type that number in here, I'll just put 98 you'll see that green line has now come down to 98 volt peak. So that is your limiter engaged in this particular preset. If you click back to flow diagram, now you can clearly see in channel one, there is PEQ applied, there is a crossover, and there is also a limiter that's engaged. Now to export this speaker preset that you have just created, first name the speaker preset, With um, hit enter after and this will save that on that line then go to the export button and this opens up uh, in my case it opens up a, a folder that I've also already created um, which is called SonicU custom speaker presets um, and then I can save that down here with the name that I called it hit save and then we're ready to start our SonicQ project file and load that speaker preset. So simply go to the amplifiers. And for this case, we'll choose a Dynacord C1300 FDI 
which is one of our installation amplifiers. And then we need to go to speaker, generic, and then we choose, in this case, a passive speaker. And of course, you can create files for biamp speakers, quad amp or triamp, and also subwoofers in the irisnet file. And um, you just need to create whatever you need to make to make your project work. If then you go to connect and settings, hover over the speaker, click the speaker once. This opens up the upload tool to, for the speaker preset. Click the button. This goes to my already predefined speaker file um, folder. Select the item that you want to load into that speaker. And here you see 600 watt PQ with limiter is loaded. Then to connect that speaker to the amplifier, simply click the speaker, click the channel you want that preset to go to, then go to the online button, click writing, and that will send that custom speaker preset to that amplifier channel. Thanks for watching. And that just about covers it. If you liked the video, make sure to leave us a comment and subscribe for more product demos. We'll see you in the next one.